The Smithville Community Clinic uh, opened its doors on, in 2013, and uh, we know that we've got a patient, we've got a population here in Smithville that just has not have any kind of health care. Uh, either it was just too outrageous, they can't pay for it, and then we have folks that you know lost their jobs. So the need is for that population. And uh, in a year's time, we'll see between five to 700 patients within not just the city of Smithville. We're noticing that people are coming from other parts, Giddings, Page, Austin, because this is the only free and charitable clinic. There's no requirements for uh, figuring out how much money you make or you have to qualify to be able to see a physician. So everything here is free and charitable and we only request a donation. And so we're trying to fill that gap for uh, these folks out there that just don't have any kind of insurance at all. And we have three primary goals. Our goal number one is heal the body, which includes all of our medical services that we provide, dental services, and well women's. Uh, our second goal is renew the mind. And that primarily covers our behavioral health scope for our folks that need mental health counseling. Our third goal is nourish the spirit. Uh, we've partnered with the Born Again Emporium and uh, we actually work there one Saturday a month. And so we like to say that we're working with our ministerial alliance and we also ask our patients before they leave if we can pray with them. So we like to nourish their spirit uh, in a number of ways. The clinic was uh, really fortunate. We uh, work underneath what's called the Texas Association of Charitable Clinics. And uh, they have put together what's called a, qual a Total Quality Collaborative with the uh, St. David's Foundation. And this year's focus was on quality measurements. And part of those quality measurements were for our uh, doctors and nurses and our medical assistants working with each patient. Uh, the first quality measurement was blood pressure. So hypertension is one of our biggest issues with our medical, uh, in our medical field here with our patients. Uh, the second measurement was uh, diabetes, which was the blood glucose sugars. And then the last category uh, during this total quality collaborative was measuring social determinants of health. And uh, in the last uh, four months, we've been able to screen about 130 patients uh, to determine what their social determinants of health are and where their issues are. And what we're finding are there three or four major issues um, with our patient population right now. The biggest uh, issue right now is dental. As uh, we have new patients that come in, as a dental director, I collect the social determinants of health and all of their uh, private information as well as their vitals, and then I take them out to the dental bus to see the dentist. We are here, we listen to you. We understand um, your past dental experiences and dental anxiety, and we do everything possible to make sure that you feel comfortable and you feel safe, and we practice painless dentistry, you know. You know, don't be scared, just come in, we bring your smile back, we have to make sure that you have your teeth, you know, taken care of so you can be able to chew and be able to enjoy quality of life. This is a very fantastic place. We, we offer fantastic services. You know, um, we take care of people, we are safe, we are welcoming. No matter your, no, you know, no matter your race, your religious denominations, you know, we are here with open hands to welcome people, you know. Just come in, you know, we'll take care of you. Well, it's a place where people can come and have dentistry and, and things that they've been, um, having a lot of problems with a lot of patients they're either fearful of the dentist or or they just don't have the funds to go and it's a way that they can come and get some of those needs met and, and not have to worry about where those finances are coming from and so it's really rewarding uh, to see people come out and say I feel so much better already and they just had teeth pulled so it's it's a blessing to the community and to me the second uh, big social determinant right now that we're looking at is mental health. And of course with COVID for the last nine months, mental health has skyrocketed. So we've got about um, 168 uh, patient counseling sessions a month. So at the clinic, we have um, four licensed professional counselors, including myself. And we also have a behavioral health advocate 
when we, whenever we get a new patient that comes into our clinic, whether it's women's health, whether it's dental, or whether it's medical, we, we give them an opportunity to have uh, licensed counseling. We ask them, okay, what, what, are you, what are your needs? And then refer them to the behavioral health licensed professional counselors. Currently we are managing about 50 to 55 clients per week um, between the four of us. And it has been absolutely amazing to be able to um, work with the clientele that we work with and to see the progress that is made in their lives and how grateful they are to have someone and, and a place that truly cares about their well-being is, I mean, there's just no words that, that can describe how wonderful of a feeling that is as a professional. I think one of the biggest things that we want the community of, of Smithville, of Bastrop County, and even those surrounding areas to, to know is that we are truly there for everyone. So we recently partnered with the Smithville Community Library and we are going to be starting monthly book clubs in six different areas. So Physical health is, is absolutely something that people across the board accept as something you have to go see a doctor for certain ailments when you have a physical injury or you have some sort of a um, long-term health condition or even short-term health condition. But the mental health piece is something that is now, I think, it, it has had such a stigma that, you know, you don't want to, if you're depressed, you don't tell anybody. If you're, you know, if you have something going on in your head that just doesn't make sense to you or anybody around you, you have to keep it quiet. Well, why are we treating that like it's not important? I think that is a really important piece that's, that the com community clinic is serving right now. Reading is very important. and. and especially reading fiction in terms of bringing empathy to the reader. I mean, you're, you become a better person, you become better at critical thinking, you become better at understanding beliefs and desires of other people. Uh, providing these book clubs, providing an outlet, a source for discussion, supplemented with a connection to a professional behavioral health counselor, it, it, it's a win-win, I believe. And help bring some community engagement, some support systems, some access to health care through books and through reading. One of the things about our services that we're really proud of is the ability to offer these services in Spanish. We help patients, in, in my case, is the Spanish speakers, to uh, get them connected with services or also uh, translate when they're having a, an appointment, um, help them to understand what, uh, how to take their medicine, or even to help them when they're having problems with the pharmacy. So I, I help them throughout. I feel like we're making an impact in the community and, and beyond. And then the third area was, of course, Well Women's. First of all, this is a Christ-centered program. And um, we offer prayer with them if they need it. But we also treat everyone basically the way we want to be treated ourselves. And I want every woman to be able to have that capability of getting the care, the actual care that they would get if they did have money or insurance or whatever. We do a complete exam on them. I, as a well woman's checkup, you get your, you listen to heart and lungs. You do a complete physical, including a breast exam. We do an abdominal check, listen to bowels, so it's a complete physical form. We do a pelvic check and or pap smear. We have found several ladies here with breast lumps. So when we have that, then we do refer them. My role in capturing the quality measures is um, I really grab the A1Cs. Uh, we are the only free and charitable clinic in Bastrop County. You don't need to go without medical care, women's health, behavioral health, dental health. Uh, we have uh, teamed with the Pinky Promise campaign 
and we run a well women's clinic right now once a month and we've been able to enroll uh, 11, 12, 13 women into the breast can cancer screening program. Another area that uh, was interesting, folks are really struggling right now because of COVID with their utilities and their mortgage payments. Well, the city was able to get a grant for about $51,000 and there was like 70 people that were really struggling in the city of Smithville that couldn't pay the utility payments. We've been able to help about 67 of those folks. Um, and some of those we know are our patients. So by doing social determinants of health, we really can get a great snapshot on where our uh, patients are and uh, what their struggles are. And then, you know, be able to reach out to them on an individual level and say, hey, come on in, we've got this service. So as far as our expansion, um, so because we're running all these services, we're uh, going to add on, uh, and that's the noise you probably hear in the background, we're adding on another medical um, facility which will host two more medical exam rooms, a nurse's station, and a small conference area. Uh, right now the clinic is uh, small and uh, we can only bring in like one patient at a time. So with this expansion we're hoping to be able to uh, see more patients. The only way I think that uh, a small clinic like this can really be successful is that you have to have collaboration. So I mentioned a few earlier, but a couple others that we're uh, really working with are the Wesley nurses. The Wesley nurse is able to send patients to the clinic. She sees patients in her, in her office and in the community, but when she sees someone that she's not able to help, she's able to send them to the clinic. And what a godsend this has been. They can get their blood pressures checked. They can get medication. All of these things that people have gone for years without. The Smithville Community Clinic is a wonderful place and it gives an open door to those that need help. We're saving and changing lives because if you feel good, you are a better person, you are a better parent, you are a better spouse, friend. Uh, There's just an atmosphere of care and concern at the Smithville Community Clinic. The Smithville Hope and Healing for Those Without Means. We are here. We're here to help you help you. We all treat everyone that walks through this door with the greatest respect, and we value them as humans, and we only want what's best for them. Smithville Community Clinic, esperanza y sanación para los que no tienen recursos. Vengan a vernos.